Oh my gosh, just looked back in after editing the first episode and the ping is even higher! It just hit 240, holy heck! Don't you use the same service as Genshin? How could it get worse? Do you know why the Antimatter Legion would invade the station, Arlan? They must have come for Madame Herta's collection. Ooh. Hello. But as to why, I still... I heard there's something called a Stellaron in Madame Herta's collection. Gonna listen to this. That's not the kind of information someone in my position would have access to. It's interesting that some people know about the Stellaron and some don't. Um, excuse me, I'm just checking out my options. Of my weaknesses, bear with me, <laughs> little sphere. <laughs> it's too late to repent. Uh, yeah, um, that's that's wind. Yeah, I mean it's slightly different to your symbol, but it looks like wind. Uh, single target, single target. Uh, yeah, 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 go for it. Get yeah, right as well. Watch this. Probably should have gone for this guy, but that's Let's okay. Go. Uh, I mean, there's, there's no point. <laughs> oh, residual damage. Yay. You couldn't have done it without me. Yoink. And then you're not going to let me go through there. Yep, do it. Um, and you won't let me go through here? Cool, cool, cool. Do I have to interact? No, it just automatically does it because I'm close. Okay. Hi. Can you tell me your strengths and weaknesses? Uh, yep. Sorry, I took me a while to figure out where they were on the screen because I kept looking over your head. But that's not where they're located. Um, yeah, may as well. The time is now. Oh, My turn. So close. Um, can you please defend uh, Dan Hong? He is uh, the weaker of the two. With me out here? How can we lose? With your path cuteness. Let's make it quick. Oh, whoops. Try while you're at it, sometimes. go use that, please. Check out this Move. I'm checking it out much. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, if you could be so kind. Oh. So close and so far. <laughs> yeah. See, and you should have was the right yeah. answer. Bye bye. Oh, so close yet so far. You can't run. That's weird. It's not taking off his, his, his shield. It's clearly doing damage, but it's not. His shield isn't going anywhere. That's so weird. Um, I'm gonna keep all of your ultimates. I'm just gonna attack. I mean, I'm sure I don't really need to keep them, but I will anyway. Let's go. Batter up. Just gonna do it anyway. Okay. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Your, your voice is very deep, my dear. Uh, I believe we have to continue going that away. But I'm a curious lass, so, you know. A screen is on standby. Verification is required where the screen can be used. There's a small sticky note attached to the screen. Sticky note, really? We're using sticky notes in the sci fi age? It is forbidden to comment on light cone technology as a researcher outside the research laboratory. It is also forbidden to comment on the gardener recollection outside the research room under any identity, but someone mentioned it already. Ha! Ha! Here we go. Oh. Oh, is that a little health thing? Technique and technique points. That's not what I just got. Oh, here we go. Destroy destructible objects and use special consumables to recover technique points. Oh, oh I can increase that. Increasing your equilibrium level. I don't know what that is. We'll increase the number of technique points available to you up to max of five. Equilibrium level. What is my aha equilibrium level? Is it like my adventure rank or my world level? It's my adventure rank. Yep. Well, I hope I don't have to get that high. I hope I can just sit comfortably down the bottom like I am in Genshin. So it doesn't get too difficult for me. Um, and I can still get my technique points up because I'd like to heal outside of combat. The repulsion bridge has been shut down. 
Yes. Take K. To stall the enemy. I got More it. Or less. Uh, I don't think I can attack you through here, sir. Be right with you. Ha. Um, excuse me. I'm all good. God, I almost missed it because I was too far away. Whoops. My bad. Oh. Um, March, you might want to protect yourself. Just saying. Oh, you know, I probably could just use this. Oh, it seems like a waste, but let's the go for it. The truth of life and death. Ethereal dream. In an this sanctuary is but a vision. Very pretty. Oh, you almost got him. That's okay. You still have your turn. <laughs> oh no! So you close, it's so far. Running into me. Um. Ah, oh, just take the damage, I suppose. Let's make it quick. Step aside. I have yes. Brilliant. And then, if I remember, I will use Stella's ult in the next combat encounter. These shiny things are these light cones? I thought I only know. the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. How is that a cone? It's completely a rectangle. No. Light cones are garden of recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. You carry memories? I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights. But I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. Okay, so light cones are apparently super rare. Interesting that he just said the corporation rather than the IPC. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. But if they're so special and rare, why are you just giving it to me? That seems a bit... Odd. Characters light cones provide step boost to characters of a special abilities if the wearer's path matches that of the light cone. Are these like artifacts then? And we don't worry about weapons. Select Stella. Enter the light cones. Yeah, I could also enter it there, but sure. Uh, light cones can offer stat bonuses to characters and increase in HP, attack, and defense. Equip light cones that match the character's path to activate powerful light cone abilities. This is destruction. I'm trying to read. Stop hustling me, would ya? Okay. So, if we went back to here, I see, I see. Following effects only work on the characters of the Path of Destru Destruction. It's super in position one. Havoc. Increases the wearer's basic attack and skill damage by 20%. Nice. A drop of strength condensed from time itself. All the seemingly insignificant moments come together to form the magnificent choir of fate. The devil of all things is as natural as their birth. Time erodes everything, turning all tangible entities to dust. Super. I get bonus. Go team. Solidified phenomena sealed inside slices of pure light to upgrade various abilities. Additional powers are awakened where a light cone user follows the same path as the light cone. They make it sound so dramatic. Oops, we're going that way. Too bad. I'm not going that way. I've got to go destroy things first. Sorry, I'm just trying to assess what's destructible and what's not. <laughs> Trailblaze level two. We're going very slowly in that department, but that's okay. We will get there. The image on the screens are very clear. Some components of the display seem to be damaged. Oh, hold on. This is this is. Fragments from her to research. Ah, it went so quickly. Bookshelf. Herta. Fragments. Of her to research Atlas Volume 7 traffic. Okay, she's purchasing something th from Wen Hairen. Galactic Emergency Rug. A beige and brown bohemian style rug. Places where wooden tassels should have been are now replaced by small golden stellars that oscillate up and down at the same angle both ways. What does it do? She's got some goggles, coloured beacon paste. Okay. 
I'm not quite sure what that's giving us lore-wise. Almost missed that bad boy. I want to know what this stuff is. Aww, is that it? We've reached the what elevator is this already? Stuff? That wasn't too many monsters. Oh, but I want to go there. Oh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might There's bring a bad chest luck. calling my name. Uh, you've grown, March. There's a door. There is a door. A door means it can be reached, but how? How do we reach it? I don't have any way of reaching it. That's just mean. That's super mean. Show me something I can't get to. Oh my, what's attacking me? Is this a doomsday beast? What's this? Move carefully. I don't know, but Rules I to be totally planned ahead. <laughs> totally planned ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Move carefully. Oh, so close yet so far. Gosh darn. Oh god, we barely got through that. Ow. Extra action. Oh, okay. The enemy is locked under Stella. Ready to use a powerful charge attack. Yes, 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 I know. I was working on it. I just had to wait for a turn. How can we lose? Patience is a virtue game. Let's go. Use checking mode to view a character's status in detail. Checking mode displays the current buffs and debuffs applied to the character. Click to view detailed information about the enemies. Okay, locked on. Okay. Great. Do I, do I need to know these things? Except to know that he's uh, significantly higher level than I am. Who's next? This guy is going to die from the... Does he, he has bleed on him? I think he does. Um, I kind of want to get rid of him first, but he's going to keep damaging me. Batter up. Hmm. You can't run! Gotta try hard sometimes. No one's really Check out this cryo awesome inclined? <laughs> or cryo disinclined? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter if killed the guy anyway. Okay, I'm gonna need you to work on this, please. Uh, actually, you can use you can use some of those points. Yeah. And use your ult. Just a scratch. Try that again. Oh man. The truth of this life massive and death damage. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary. Massive damage. Is to my shield. Good. Okay, um, I'm kind of inclined to defend myself again. Stay right there while I give you a present. Oh man. Let's make it quick. Okay, um, get rid of this. Thank you. Now you can get rid of him. Thank God I protected myself against run. that bad boy. Rules Start us are made to be broken. Go girl. Yeah. I told you I could fight. <laughs> Batter up. We are Clemency. Struggling to get through. Oh, that damage is so weak. It's okay. Try that again. We're doing okay. Gotta get through his oh, we're not okay now. I take that back. Um with me out here, how can we lose? We boost that. Let's go. And then gotta try hard sometimes. Probably not Check out the best awesome use against move. him. But <sighs> I'm kind of struggling to get through his defenses. Step aside. The time is now. Almost. 
Oh, so close. So close. My turn. Uh, can you kill him? <laughs> yes. Okay. We took a little bit of damage from his stompy stomps. That's okay. Oh my gosh. That's no fun. Hey, sore losers. You can't just gang up on us. <laughs> what the heck? Hello, little buddy. Who? <laughs> what is that? Why does oh. it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. Who are you talking to? March, Dan Hung. You've been through a lot. Himiko. Oh, Hugh, Himiko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? <laughs> she makes a very good point. That'd be bloody hard. I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. I imagine she would not. <laughs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. So is Himiko from the Astral Express, or is she from the Herda space station? I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. Bye. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. Ah, that answers my question, so she's coming with. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. Okay. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way. Has she's been she? somewhat scatterbrained in regards to the elevator card, not gonna lie. Think carefully about how you wanna reply to that. Oh, I answered quite honestly. I've never met a more reckless girl in my life. I've never met a more lively girl in my life. In that case, I'd rather not answer. <laughs> huh. Looks like we have two Don Hungs on our team now. <laughs> he looks at her. <laughs> <sighs> Please leave me out of this. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on. Asta's been worried about all of you. I'm getting Lisa vibes from her. <laughs> oh, trial. She's joined us temporarily. Aww. Yay, Trailblaze level three. When do I get my rewards for that, by the way? When do I get my Trailblaze rewards? Inflict weakness break at enemies three times using the trailblazer destruction in a single battle. Okay, so we're actively getting rewarded for using the trailblazer. Defeat Void Ranger, trample out when it's aiming at an ally. Yoink. Um, can we wish yet? I don't think we can. I don't even know what it would be called in this game. What about F3? Yeah, F3 gets me nowhere. Yep, okay, I think these buttons become available eventually. I will leave them. Hey, there's people here! Hi, people. It wants me to go straight. I don't go straight. Hello. Okay. If you want to look like that, be my guest. Oh my. This certainly is like the... Oh, hi, that's so pretty. This does seem like the main uh, mechanical passage. Abraham, former security... Why former? Wait, you're named and I can't talk to you? Odd. Species of the galaxy. Wubaboo. What a name. On the surface, this book is no different from any other, but upon closer examination, you will find that it is surrounded by a layer of stellar light, as if imbued with a hidden spell. The encyclopedic information on Wababoo is recorded on the open page of the book. You can turn the page with your hand, but the content will always remain the same. It's almost like flipping through a book of sifting sand. It seems that you need some sort of authorization to view the other contents, some sort of key. Okay, spiritual. Nickname, Wabba Jinx Mischievous Astral Spirit. Kingdom Spiritual Organism, Class Astral Spirit, Order Shapeless, Family Spirit Essence, Species Heliobus. Spiritual organisms represented by astral spirits can be traced back to the record, recorded beginnings of the Amber Era. The Leviathan's conception theory believes that some elder Leviathans were run aground after the Dusk Wars. During their lengthy slumber, their decomposed cells became the seed bed for organic organisms. That sounds really gross. Um, and their dissipating life force became wandering astral spirits. However, more and more scholars have begun to publicly denounce Leviathan's conception theory in recent years. Other nascent theories are not included here. 
in the beginning, natural spirits did not possess individual wills, and all they did was float and wander aimlessly in the galaxy during the trailblaze, as the nameless travelled between the galaxy. The astral... Who's the nameless? And... What do you mean by trailblaze? The astral spirits became allured by the human's freedom of travel. The mortal beings possessing the strong emotions of love and lust made a strong impact on the barren core of the astral spirits. Humans have become the most desirable hosts for astral spirits. The astral spirits would follow this scent of emotions and find their prey, possess their body, and turn the host into a mindless walking corpse. Oh dear. Hosts that are able to fuse with the astral spirits will die on the spot. A verified case of a nameless named Erwin Hessler became possessed by an astral spirit and managed to form a symbiotic relationship with it. Was its name Venom? Now, those possessed by astral spirits and, and ended in tragedy are lost as time goes on. Okay. They go around for fun? Oh, it doesn't sound very fun for the person who's inhabited. Do I have to come back to talk to you, Abraham, since you won't speak to me now? Hello, Emily. Oh, hello. Emily, calm down and think about what she would do in such a disaster. Ten cups of coffee, a pill, or maybe hide in a room full of mystic scrolls of eons. Okay, we're definitely pronouncing it as eons in this game because it's the second person to have pronounced it thus. Oh, that's bitter coffee. <coughs> so bitter. Too dang bitter. Oh, sis, where are you? I'm so scared. Are you looking for Herter or... Somebody else. Business Galaxy Totonid. Herter's Manuscripts. Ooh, another one of Herter's Manuscripts. Interastral Peace Corpor... Ah, that's the IPC. Interastral Peace Corporation. Klepoth, the Amber Lord, a colossal statue without a head. Silent and oblivious, they only think about constructing their mysterious and giant wall. What was it for? No one knows. What is it they're trying to keep out? No one knows. Most normal people will ignore it after realizing our ignorance, but there are always abnormal people in this world. <gasps> oh, okay. And with that, a group of people filled with a self-sacrificing mentality gathered and formed a support team for Klepoth. Knowing that they're not exactly capable of doing anything, the support team used the power of paths and flew to different worlds to source the variable materials needed for building a wall as a tribute to the god. Okay. Uh, this kind of hurts my eyes skimming through this. 800 amber eras ago? Bloody hell, how much time has passed since the beginning of time? My god. Bye, Emily. Yoink. Researchers, members. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of reading here. I might just leave them for a bit. Bernard. I can't speak to Bernard, but I can listen to Rocky. Leslie! Sir, I need to go. I need to go find Leslie. Stupid boy, is your head not screwed on right? Leaving over my dead body. You tell him, Bernard. I'll knock some sense into you yet, but hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, okay. geography researcher. You have been denied entry. Watson, geopolitics officer. They're all different levels, which is interesting. Do and medical staff. Elk, guys, it's nice joy. Oops, this is the way down. Okay, well that was a lot of people and a lot of information we just took in. Got even more people over here. Yoink. Another research note. Totonids are rocks. Dissertation proposal. Ah, it's an achievement. I don't want to accidentally trigger the main quest, so I'm just going to walk totally around. Is that much? Doesn't look like much from this distance. Lukak, Lukax. We researchers have all taken refuge here. But has anyone given any thought to the non-human life on this space station? They may be part of the rare item collection, but are they not also living things? Don't their rights deserve to be protected? Non-human life? Yes, non-human life. Living creatures that aren't human. Can you give me some examples of what's present on the, the space station? 
some of which have been collected as rare items and housed in the space station. Most of the researchers disregard their basic rights. Even now, with death staring them in the face, they still refuse to open their minds. And I, Lukash, outstanding Lukash. researcher of the Herta Department okay. of Galactic Geopolitics, must awaken those pretending to sleep. If you are interested in joining the cause, please stand by my side and repeat after me. I don't know that I want to, sir. Protect rare item rights. Save non-human life. But do rare items have life? Are they actually organic matter that lives? All together, protect rare item rights. Save non-human life. Perfect, my friend. Now, let uh, us work together and invite more supporters to join us. No, protect I'm good. Rare item right. Bye. <laughs> that was interesting. Hinkle, head of ecology. Well, you have fun, Hinkle. And then we have Sheila, geopolitics guide, and a gun. You see that, Sheila? History always repeats itself. History? Gun, this is the first time I have witnessed the space station in such disarray. Oh, Sheila. When we face another dire crisis like this, if you're able to rescue your home planet, will you come back and save us? Home planet? My home planet? I do not understand what you are saying. Never mind. If Sheila could hear this, she'd understand. Are you insinuating that that's not Sheila? Is that a robot? What do you mean, sir? Ma Mary? That's right. That's right. The resentful spirit's senseless obsession turns into a, a she tangible writer? hand, and the shadow of the old disaster will conceal the heavens. That's exactly what was written on the mystic scroll of eons. It refers to the followers of Nanook, the destruction, using antimatter to create a galactic weapon of war. I didn't think I'd be fortunate enough to witness... <laughs> oh, have you also come to witness the power and miracle of the Eons? Nope. Then go over there. There's a good spot right there. Beware of any interferences from your mortal body when observing. You must seize every detail. When an eon appears, even the tiniest trace must not be missed. <laughs> what are the odds of us seeing an eon, though? They're gods. Advertising bot. The orthodox capo Kali is Kali Capo. The advertising bot lazily declares, and you are confused about the differences between the two. Home use object finders on sale now. The advertising bot lazily declares, giving you no desire to purchase this. <laughs> I'm glad that it tells me what I do and do not desire. Feedback form from a space station. Actually, this sounds like it might be a good read. Uh, bookshelf. Feedback form. Up from the cafeteria. Oh, this gets even better. Question. We've been served dried earthworm for a week straight. Can we switch it up a little? Answer. Next week, we will be serving them in the following flavors. Tomato, courge courgette, Grapefruit, etc. Side note, due to the stock issues on the supplier's end, we'll be providing the cosmic fried rice at an irregular interval on a first-come, first-served basis. Question. Am I the only one who got diarrhea after having the synthesized meat? Answer. According to collected data, only you have displayed symptoms of his nature. You're welcome to come and try again. We will make sure to keep some samples for investigation. Question. I want to have eggplants. I want to have snap peas. I want to have cucumber. I want to have vegetables. Answer. You can apply for trials to try the newly developed veggie pills from one of our departments. Take one pill before the meal to experience the taste and texture of your chosen flavor when you're chewing any food. Known side effects include slight numbness in the left leg and unknown disabilities in some lab rats. Please explore yourself for more information. Question. The crops in my experimentation field keep getting stolen. Can't keep being stolen. Can the space station not ensure this little bit of anti-theft measures? Answer. Did you subscribe to the security dog function in the C dial? Copy the following code into your personal terminal and the system will automatically generate a dog for you in the form of an ionization grid to protect your field. In normal life, it can also become your personal terminal assistant. Question. Don't believe in that stupid doggy function, terminal assistant my foot. I had to transcribe the voice meaning for me and it generated 12,000 woofs. You can answer. You can click the play button to ensure another doggy that didn't attend the meeting understands the agenda of the meeting. 
Question. When can we have an AI manage feedback to the cafeteria? The current responder is obviously trolling. Answer. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Can you please try again in another way? <laughs> oh. That's adorable. Oh, I was going this way, wasn't I? Hello, gentlemen. Oh, hey, it's, it's what's his face? I've already forgotten his name. It started with an A and an L and I'm pretty sure there was a K and an N somewhere involved. <laughs> 